So the Flipper Zero is a cool little hacker device that came out not too long ago. Um, it was on uh, Kickstarter. Um, not sure how it's sold now. Um, same people are working on uh, Flipper One, which looks uh, really cool for penetration testing and stuff like that. But check out the Flipper Zero if you haven't already. Um, my reason for making this video today is the fact that I discovered that it can play music. It has exactly um, one sound channel um, right here um, and um, there's a music player plugin um, that comes pre-installed but the demo song is kind of limited and I did some uh, you know quick searches out there to see what people mess around with and it uh, wasn't uh, wasn't that much nothing uh, super impressive so um, what I did was, uh, if you know Renoise, which is a music tracker, um, I threw this little thing together here. So a basic um, chip tune, kind of uh, very rapid. Didn't mean to do that. Um, arpeggio to fake chords. I've made some videos about that before. That's how it was done way back on home computers like the Commodore and Atari. So this uh, little Flipper Zero seemed like a great candidate for the same uh, treatment. So I made a single track um, song in uh, Renoise. And we can, um, you know, it's already saved, but there it is. Our XRNS uh, format like that. Sure, let's do that. Um, it ends up right here. It's my Renoise directory. And over here, I have a um, map to my WSL um, directory. So I'm running a Linux in a VM on, on this machine. And so we can um, copy this file um, over here. So there it is. Um, hop into terminal. And uh, there you see the file that I just dragged and dropped in there. So it's an XRNS file is uh, Renoise's file format, but it's actually just a zip file. And inside there's a um, file called um, song.xml. And they actually store all these patterns in XML, which is a little bit unbelievable, but that's what they do. So I wrote um, uh, oops, this uh, Python program here um, called uh, flip noise, which um, expands that uh, zip file, finds the XML, parses the XML, and spits out a .fmf file, which is what the Flipper Zero knows how to read. They're pretty different formats. And again, um, there's only a single channel of audio on the Flipper, so um, this code can only handle one track of uh, notes um, coming from Renoise. But uh, let's see, so we can run this. Um, flip noise and then flip noise, run that on the XRNS file. It'll spit out some information. Um, so if you care to put your artist name and stuff like that in the song in uh, Renoise, it'll actually extract that from it and populate it here and actually use it for the saved file name for the FMF file. Um, it also reads the BPM. You'll see like a ludicrously high BPM here. That is for a reason. Um, it is to um, fake chords through very quick arpeggios and actually even be able to overlay a melody on, on top of that um, and have it sound somewhat like it's playing at the same time. That's why we need that super fast BPM. And here are the notes it spits out that it found in the, in the reason file. So it just made a file for us um, right there. I'm just going to rename it because that's an obnoxious uh, name. Uh, so we'll just do a flip noise.fmf okay uh, there is that and let's find that in here uh, f5 this thing there it is and we'll bring up um, uh, what's it called q flipper uh, and you can see i already have a version of flip noise on there but basically on your sd card in the music player directory just um, toss that file in there like so and now it's copied onto the device and it's uh, ready to be played and i'm going to cut to um, a, a demo of what what that sounds like um, shortly here um, certainly the python code could be improved a little bit um, i have it um, up on uh, github somewhere flip noise here if you care um, to take a look but yeah it can be improved um, not just because i'm um, 
disobeying Uncle Bob in a couple places, but um, for sure you could do some cool stuff like you could have multi-track support um, and maybe auto-generate the um, arpeggios for the chords from one track and then have your melody on a different track and then it just kind of superimposes one on the other as it kind of merges the two uh, within the Python code um, when it readies it for playback on the flipper zero. I think that would be really cool, but not something I'm going to code today. I've already spent a, a couple hours on, on this today here. So with that, I'm going to cut to the demo. Thanks for watching.